believer's baptism. And as you know, um, we believe as a church that baptism is a sign uh, that we are trusting in Jesus Christ alone uh, for salvation. And a couple weeks ago, I had the joy of, of talking with Tori uh, Plywarn about her walk with Jesus Christ. And as she came forward to join the church, she shared with me that um, she had trusted in Christ and really felt like um, she had been baptized as a child, younger, but felt like her conversion and following Christ happened more recently in her life last year than when she really transferred her trust to Christ. And she felt like it was important for her to, as an act of obedience, to follow Christ and be baptized following her conversion. And so we talked a little bit about that and, and just heard a little bit about her story. And Tori, I want to share with you just uh, how excited I am and how happy I am for you. Uh, it's obvious to me and to those who know you that you have a deep love for Jesus Christ and we're excited for your family. Uh, it's a very special day. So Tori, let me ask you in front of your church family, is it true that you have invited Jesus Christ uh, to be your Lord and Savior, that you have repented of your sins and you have trusted in Christ and Christ alone for your salvation. Yes, I And Tori, is it also your desire by faith to continue to live by faith and repentance every day of your life, seeking to preach the gospel to yourself and allow him to work in and through you that you might be the woman of God that he has called you to be? Yes. Well, Tori, we rejo rejoice in that. It's upon your profession of faith in front of this body of believers that I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in the newness of